Hello everyone. Our next topic of thermodynamics is proof of Cp minus Cb equals to R. In order to do this, we have to find out the difference of Cp and Cb. We all know that Cp is greater than Cb because the system has to do some extra mechanical work and that work is equal to the universal gas constant R. You have done it during your study of the chapter gas. Okay, but this proof is thermodynamic proof. So, how to do this? Let's see. In order to do this, we have to start from the equation, from the expression of enthalpy, which is U plus PV. So, this is the expression of enthalpy. Now, let's differentiate both sides of these equations with respect to temperature and uh, keeping the pressure constant. So, this differentiation, dH by dt becomes del H by del T because pressure is constant becomes it becomes a partial differentiation okay and this one also this du by dt expression becomes del u by del p because this is also partial because the pressure is kept constant and since pressure is kept constant this pressure term is taken out of the differentiation and uh, the differentiation of v only we are doing here so that is del v by del t at constant pressure this is equation number one now u is a function state function and it is definitely that is why a function of temperature volume and pressure so let us select volume and temperature and apply the slope rule here so what should be the expression of du according to the, according to the slope rule it is del u by del v t into dv plus del u by del t v into dt okay now let's divide both sides by dt and attribute the condition of constancy of pressure if we attribute the uh, condition of constancy of pressure, then this du by dt expression becomes del u by del t at constant p. Here also, it becomes del v by del t p and here dt is cancelled out. Okay, so in this line you can see this du by dt expression becomes del u by del t p. This dv by dt expression becomes del v by del t p. This one was as usual as it was and here this expression du by dt is as it is only the dt is cancelled out here okay now let's let's rearrange this equation okay this term we take it to the left hand side so this negative sign is vanished and sorry this is not negative this is positive so if this is positive then this one becomes negative okay and this one becomes positive so just take this one to the left hand side of the equation then just uh, arrange them in the reverse order so this one del u by del t v is here okay then equals to del u by del p del t p so del u by del t p minus this term it's product of two different differentiations del u by del v t into del v by del t p so this way we get equation number two so here in equation number two we get the expression of del u del t v and in equation number one we got del h del t p we know that del h del t p is c p and del u del t v is c v so the difference is the difference of the left hand sides of equation one and two conversely this is also the difference of the right hand sides of equation one and two okay so in the left hand side of equation one was these two terms and these two terms had been in the right hand side of equation two and the difference is this one here these two have been cancelled by each other okay del u by del t p minus del u by del t p so these two are cancelled so the two terms remaining here are p into del v del t p this one Ma uh, plus this minus and this minus becomes plus plus del u by del v t into del v by del t p so this is the expression of cp minus cb in your exam sometimes this expression also comes to prove okay so up to this you can stop your answering and if you are said you are asked to prove that this equation this is difference is r then you have to take the help of the ideal gas equation so here cp minus cb 
is this has this expression you just take del v del t p as common here look del v del t p here is here is also del v del t p so you take them as common so within the bracket what is left now p plus del u del v t now for ideal gas for ideal gas this term is zero why you have already obtained it from the last lecture lecture number 12 the Joule's experiment okay so this is zero so this this is only p into del v del t p so this is equal to p into del v del t p this is equation three now as i have said that we have to take the help of the ideal gas equation uh, pv equals to nrt and for one mole of ideal gas it becomes pv equals to rt or v equals to rt by p or del v by del t p becomes equal to r by p you uh, you need not uh, require the explanation of this mathematical implication okay so i am not going to that so simply put this value r by p in place of del v by del t p okay so in place of del v by del t p we are putting here r by p r by p p p cancelled only r is remaining so it is proved that cp minus cv equals to r okay so that's all for this lecture thank you and have a nice day.